Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to create this look using all of these products. Well, not all of these products, but this is what I brought down from upstairs. I think I show you all of them, um, but we don't end up using all of them. But um, all of these are old products that I went shopping for in my stash as you call it and yeah so surprised with how this turned out and I talk you through each of the products and some of them why I stopped using them um, so yeah it's quite interesting as we go along but I think some of these I might use on a daily basis now too so it's very interesting but before we start this video uh, I just wanted to ask you to subscribe and to also share this channel with your friends if you think that they may like this kind of channel because looking at my analytics, um, most of my views are from new people and I don't know why <laughs> people aren't clicking subscribe. So people are watching the videos but you are not clicking subscribe and if not, I'd like to know why. why? why aren't you coming back let me know give me some constructive feedback um because i enjoy this this is a lovely hobby that i i enjoy doing i enjoy editing and things so just let me know but yeah without further ado i apologize for the ramble let's get into it and let's create this look so so far i have put on the laura mercier foundation primer in radiance and I've put on the MAC um, Shape and Shade on my brows because I don't have another brow product and if I was to try and use like an eyeshadow or something that just would have been a little bit of a car crash so um, yeah that's what we have so far. I have brought down, well I say backups but I don't have a foundation <laughs> that is going to match my skin but I do have the Bare Minerals Original Foundation in Medium Beige, which I don't know if it's gonna match, but I thought I'd try that. If that doesn't work, then I can use this with the concealer over the top. But everything else I have is from the stash. Okay, so this foundation is in Medium Beige. I'm just going to, I think, just push in like this, first of all, just to see the color. A little bit nerve. Not bad, is it? Ooh, bit of minerals. That's actually a really nice colour. My goodness! Let's keep going with this. See, this is why this video is a great idea. And I can already see this is going to happen with probably a lot of the products that I've got there. I need to get like a table in front of me or something, like a little mini, one of those like wheelie things or something from Ikea, you know, so I'm not doing this in front of the camera whilst I'm talking to you. Because at the moment I've got all my makeup and my brushes just to the side of me on the sofa, which uh, is not looking the best right now due to the makeup that's on it. Guys, I really like this foundation. How have I not used this for so long? I think I'm always put off because it's a powder, thinking that it's going to be like really cakey looking. But I think with the primer underneath as well, it just looks lovely. God, I am really impressed with this. I love the glow. And that coverage as well. Like that's hardly, like I'm not going to have to really do much concealing in the way of covering those marks that I had like on my forehead and my cheeks. Mm. 
Two concealers here. I have the MAC Studio Sculpt Concealer in NW20 and I have the Benefit Boying in number one. So this one is a lighter colour. So I think I might go under the eyes with this and if there's anything left, I'll see what the colour is like with this on the rest of the face. So let's go in with the MAC one first and just have a look at something in my eye. <laughs> what the colour is like. How how is this matching? Like how is this happening right now? And how is this a good concealer? Like I've not <sighs> I'm a little bit annoyed with myself that I haven't gone back into that cupboard. Okay, let's stop the annoyance and just start getting excited. I might put a little bit on my nose just to lighten that up a little bit. Don't know what these accents are this morning, guys. You should see me in school. All I do is sit there and just do accents with the children, and they just think it's hilarious. Not saying those accents are any good, by the way, but <laughs> I wonder. I really am interested to see how this wears. If I if I end up vlogging this evening. Um, I will show you how it wears because it'll be good to like just see how each thing wears really. Can't stop saying wears. <laughs> okay, let's go into the benefit boying and so I don't normally use a brush either for my concealer but as soon as we're just going for things we don't normally do. Why not? Why not? And if you saw my last video, I'm really struggling at the moment with my under eye baggage. Like I need a thicker, like a, a concealer with more coverage. Would you like to see like the whole process when I'm doing my makeup unless I'm like teaching a skill almost? Or would you prefer, do you prefer like shorter makeup videos where I just sort of show you like one side of the face almost? Like you saw me do it there, you don't really need to see me do it there. Like, or do you prefer a mixture? Um, I'm looking for a little bit of feedback at the moment on my channel. So we can try and actually move some things forwards here. Just using what's left on my brush there. Okay, that's a nice colour. I feel like I might need to go in under the eyes again though. I'm trying to stay away from using my stuff that I've got there. This is the darker one, I don't know if this is going to be a good idea. I don't think that was a good idea. Nope, nope, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Maybe let's just go back in with the lighter one again and just layer. To be fair, it's not coming off any worse than my other concealer is. But I have a feeling that this feels quite thick, like what I've put on, so it might crease. I don't know, I'll try setting it anyway. But well, when I do this, this is the issue that I have at the moment. I know you can have your own drawers filled in, but I'm pretty sure it's like over 300 pounds when I've looked. That, guys, when you were trying to save the IVF, <laughs> not a priority right now. So we're gonna go for concealers instead. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go in just with a little bit of the NARS 
creamy concealer. I don't know if it's going to make much difference, but this is what I use on it every day. And I'm just going to go along that line there. And just hope that that brightens me up. <laughs> Does anyone else get this problem? I'm still getting the problem like with it creasing in my eye creases and also with my mascara. I've just stopped wearing mascara on my bottom lashes because I'm convinced it's like the oils in the makeup that I'm wearing that are just making my mascara, if I wear it on my bottom lashes, just go underneath and it's very annoying. And I like all that like fluttery lash look, so I'm not quite sure how to overcome that. And I see everyone else with these beautiful eyes. Just don't know how they do it. But I'm looking forward to getting more into makeup this year and things. Um, I have two powders, the RCMA powder, the original one, the no colour one, which I used to use all of the time, and also the um, Rimmel one. I used to use Collection 2000 on top of a Chanel foundation, I remember certain somebody laughing at me about that. Um, but, yeah. I don't know, I might go with this one first, like down the T, and see what that's like, and if not, I'll go back in with the Rimmel. Let's see, okay. Did I used to like put this onto something? What did I used to do with this? Because surely like I can't use it from the top of here. I'm gonna put it into the collection 2000 top because let's just go with it. Okay. Let's see what this does. So I'm gonna go down the center. Oh, this is shedding. Actually, it's not bad. It is a little bit white. I have a feeling I stopped using this because it gave me flashback. Let's just use what's left on there. Just to take down a little bit of the shine because as I go throughout the day, you know, my natural oils come through anyway. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. I need a smaller brush to like set under my eyes though. I need a fluffy one. This is not really an appropriate under eye brush. but it's got a little point on it. Okie dokie, we have a base going on here. Just realized I brought other cream products down for my face and I've just said it, but it's okay. We're gonna go do something different. Um, I did bring down the Tarte uh, liquid and cream highlight which I used to love the um, Soap and Glory Hocus Focus I've, went, I've used this for years and loved that and I also brought down the NARS Orgasm Multiple um, which that's all I have left and it was like about this big I think um, but you know that might be a little bit pink for us today anyway however I don't feel like I do need a cream product on right now Look at me trying to like bring it back. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go in with uh, this blush first of all I think and then I think I'll build up my contour and things. So this is from Too Faced and this is Perfectly Flush Blush. Let's go in with this. Okay and I'm going to, there's like three colours on there I'm just going to swirl them together. Quite a cute colour. Maybe went a little bit overboard. Ugh. I'm going to use the NARS Laguna bronzer. Do you remember when, if you're like an old time follower, do you remember when I used to use this? Like in every single video. I think I'm gonna have to just go back to using this in every single video. But I do like the colour of this. It's it's like a cool colour, but you know, got a slightly little bit of warmth to it but I'm just going to use a little bit of this just to give me a little bit of a nose
And I think I might use a little bit of that. I'm going to go back to that same sort of dark brush I was using. We need a bronzer now, I feel. So we are going to go in with the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. And I haven't been using this because, um, to be fair, I'd forgotten about it. <laughs> um, I have been using the By Terry one, but this is like such a lovely, lovely like, golden color. Um, so, I'm just gonna bronze up like the outside of my face and this you can build but I'm gonna keep it really light today you can see it just gives like this really nice gold reflective reflectiveness to your skin I like that. I feel like some of these might be making their way back into my daily little makeup bag. Two very similar, I would say, um, highlighters. So the first being the Candlelight by Kevin Aquan, and I absolutely adore this highlighter. And I dropped it, and it's in tiny shards inside here but it's beautiful. And the other one is the Rodeal Instaglam Illuminating Powder in 01. And they are, you know, they're very similar. And obviously I can't open the other one to show you, but I've just swatched the two of them for you to see here. Um, but this is the Rodeal and this is the Kevin Aquan. And you can see this so, so similar. It's probably difficult to see the the similarities and the differences on there but um yeah they are gorgeous and as I swatch them across the palm of my hand you know you can't really tell the difference however because I loved it so much I am going to do the um Kevin Aquan one and pick up what I can from this and just swipe that just across the top of the cheekbones doing this blind just those usual places you would pop it and this is a gorgeous one for sort of across the collarbone as well Ooh, here on my face I think I might take a little a smaller brush and just take that as well just underneath the brow bone Whilst we're here, I'm going to put a little bit of a pale eyeshadow in there, but let's chuck that in there as well. Just chuck it in there, you know. I am liking this look. Let's do eyes. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about the eyes. I think purely because of the eyeliner that I've got there and the mascara. And I'm going to work today. It's, you know, early in the morning and this is going to be interesting. Probably that's why my voice is so deep this morning. Um, but this is not old, but I put this in the drawer because I wasn't using it in my like daily makeup. And again, it's only been like a month, but I forgot it was there. So this is the um, Urban Decay Naked Honey palette. And... If you saw my video, you know why it looks all dirty. Um, in transit, this one broke on the end and um, we got powder everywhere, but I'm probably gonna focus on the palest colors for the inside of my eye and then I'll probably take Hive and Drip um, just through the crease here so that I've got um, like a really nice sort of everyday look that's a little bit of a brown smoke so yeah we're gonna go with these two and then these two here
Okay, so I'm taking sweet, first of all, across my lid. It's a little darker than I thought it was going to be, but you know, we can work with it. And then let's go straight in with that light colour, which is called Flyby. I think I might have to blend those a little bit. Okie dokie. Okay, I'm going to go in with, I think because they were a little bit darker than I thought it was going to be, I'm going to go in with Hive, which was the lighter of the two colours. And I use that to sort of build up and out towards the tail end of my brow. Yeah, I do think I want to go darker than this for school. If you're new here, guys, school means work. <laughs> I cannot get away with looking like a teenager anymore. Although, I don't, we don't like, we're not massive drinkers here, but I, on occasion I will still go, I do, which is, I suppose, in a way, a good thing. But at 33, it's a little bit annoying if you don't have your ID with you. I like that, that's a lovely blend, actually. And I'm going to take that same colour just underneath the lashes as well. This is where I gulp <laughs> because we're going on to eyeliner. I have brought down a coal eyeliner, um, like a pencil one, which is um, the one I've picked up because there's a few in there. It was just a Super and Glory one. And the <laughs> liquid that I brought down is the Maybelline New York Hyper Precise All Day Matte. And the reason that liquid liners make their way <laughs> into my drawer is normally because they've either smudged or because they sort of flaked off. Um, so <laughs> I'm nervous that I'm gonna be like halfway through the day. And in work, like I don't get time to go and like top up my makeup or anything. That's not my priority when I'm in work. Um, or sometimes like I, I've gone all day, I don't look in the mirror until like four o'clock or something and um then I realise oh I've looked like that all day have I like smudges down my face or something but I'm I'm gonna go with it we're gonna go with the Maybelline Hyper Precise All Day um liner in matte is there a colour on this I do not think it is it's just like black okay um, and that's not to say like the brands aren't good, it's just probably because I just find something that I prefer for my skin. Why is there a giant here? In my way. Okay. I remember how easy I like, like, the tip is of this though. Let's just do a teeny one. So much quicker though with this kind of tip. Okay, I'm gonna keep it super small on the edge of my eye. Oh, I don't know if my, I don't know if my microphone turned back on. <sighs> we're good, we're good. Okay, I don't know what the sound quality is gonna be like either because of I've been struggling with my microphone for quite a while and in the last video you might have noticed that just part way through like it got really crackly and the last makeup video that I did and 
Oh, was it? No, it was my hair video. And obviously, I don't want to be making I, making the time to sit and film, talk to you guys, edit the video, and then find that the video is no good. So it's a little bit frustrating. However, I've been very lucky because Adam has kindly bought me a new iPhone. Yay! So I'm very grateful. I don't know what I've just done to my eye there. Why did I do that? Just made it really round looking. Hey, it's fine. Let's just go with it. I don't know if you are like me, but... Oh, I should say as well that we've been looking at this microphone since it came out about like two years ago. Two years ago, maybe even more. Um, and Indy's scratching on the door because he's trying to come into the living room. But yeah, I don't know, don't know if you are like me, but um, whatever happens with the one eye on the eyeliner, I just try and match it up. So even if I wasn't going for that look, I just match it up. I'll try to anyway. But um, it doesn't matter how many times a person does liquid eyeliner. I think you could be the most skilled person and you just go with it, you know? Like, I do it every single day. Still get it wrong. Okay, it says it's all day matte. Fingers crossed. You live up to the Galan one that I have. We are on to mascara. Let me just comb my lashes through really quick. Um, this is very dirty, I am aware. I mostly don't comb my lashes through. I just use this to like get a blob off every now and again. Right, so the mascara that we have is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which is the waterproof one, which is I think the only waterproof that I had up there, um, I've majorly, majorly condensed my makeup collection. So I've got my everyday bag, and then in like the, um, we call it the bunnies room now, because that's where the bunnies are. Uh, but in the office, uh, oh, what is that? In the office, um, we have got one of those like Alex drawers in there which has got makeup. I've got it on my blinking lid. Which was like full to the brim of makeup at one point. And now I've got three drawers and it, if you've got those Alex drawers, they are like this skinny drawers. So they're about this wide, this deep. So, no, a bit longer maybe. Um, so I think I've done quite well with what I've got left. I'll have to show you one day what I've got left in there. And this is kind of like a sneak preview, I suppose, into Serge collection. Okay. This is actually quite nice at separating the lashes. I think I'm... Like if I was going out or something, I'd do a second layer of this, but on most days I haven't got time for a second layer. I just can't be bothered with that. I want something quick that's going to thicken up my lashes. I'm saying that and I do really like that they're so combed out. Look at them. I remember somebody before, like really early on, when I'd started YouTube, saying to me, how come you don't open your mouth when you put a mascara on? And I think I used to, and then I realized that it made no difference. So me doing that doesn't really move the skin here <laughs> into my eyes. So I kind of just sort of 
do this if I'm doing my bottom lashes and I would say that I was I would hope they would stop my wrinkles growing but you know we're still at this stage with the wrinkles that's probably like one of my biggest issues that I have with my makeup is it moving around and going into wrinkles it's very annoying anywho this is what we have so far. Okay. We're on to lips now. I can't believe we're on to lips. I love this look so far. Okay, I've only brought down one lip liner and then I've got five lipsticks to choose from. <laughs> okay, so this is a MAC one in Dervish. And this is like, quite brown, but with a pink tone. Can't remember if I need to sharpen this. I think I'm gonna film an updated everyday makeup tutorial for you soon. Just to show you what I have been using on a daily. And I don't know what to do with my hair, guys. I need your help. I have booked in in two weeks time to have my roots done like I normally do. And also to have like my blonde just taken up a little bit where it's grown out. However, with the cut, what do I do? So we're doing it myself again. Do I, this is the length we are at, do I take like an inch off or two maybe? Or, you see where it sits there, we're zoomed in at a moment. Or do, or do I let it grow? I feel like I haven't had my short hair for a long enough time yet. So I may just take like an inch off or something. Cause it's grown loads, grown loads. Okay, I'm loving that lip liner as well. Um, it's a little bit pink and I feel like the rest of me is quite brown. So, Gosh, I brought down like quite a few nice lipsticks as well. So um, this one was from Nude Sticks, but I feel like this may be a little bit too mauve for this look. And we've also got two, are they all Revlon? The rest of them are Revlon. So we've got um, two color burst ones, which I remember these feeling like amazing on my lips. Um, still probably too dark, too pink. And then we've got 610 in High Flyer, which might not be too bad of a colour. Mm, perhaps too pink, but this one looks good. So this is 700 Trend Setter. So let's try a bit of this first off. And I think with the pink underneath, ooh, these smell nice. Mm. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, this is the one. Oh, I like it. I really like this look. How has this happened? I thought I was gonna go to work today like hating my makeup. One thing I haven't brought down here is <laughs> setting spray, but um, I can do that upstairs, that's fun. I am pleased with this. Okay, so please excuse the sports clothes <laughs> now we've zoomed out, but um, it is PE day today. <laughs> but yeah, this is what we have. And like I said, I am really, really pleasantly surprised with how this has turned out. 
Um, I will vlog later this evening and you can see probably at the beginning of the vlog <laughs> what it looks like. So the next vlog that I put out uh, will show you how this makeup look has turned out, <laughs> how it's lasted throughout the day. But um, thank you to the person that recommended this video because I would not have done this type of video unless you had recommended it. And um, yeah, I, I'm looking for some constructive feedback at the moment for my channel. So um, I don't want to do anything like too edgy because that's not me. I want to keep things classic, but uh, maybe switch up my editing style. I'm unsure whether to be using music in my videos or not, or whether to just keep it to my vlogs. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm open to ideas that you have. I'm open to suggestions for videos um, and content on other channels. I mean, do you follow me on anything else? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, <laughs> just let me know in the comment section below. And I hope this video was helpful and that you have found some products and you might think I've got one of those um, and you might want to go and use that from your cupboard but yeah let me know and I will speak to you all soon if I don't speak to you in the comment section I will speak to you in the next one so don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked this type of video. Yes, I will see you soon. See you soon. See you soon. Bye, guys.